Uh, this is just a quick video. We're going to have a look at the Apple Air Mac. Uh, this one, uh, Apple iBook or Apple computer. So it's just a laptop. It's an older one. Uh, this has two gig of RAM or memory in it, and we're going to upgrade it. These are the ones we bought. These are quite cheap now, so we're going to upgrade it. Two plus two is four. At the moment, we're only running two, so it'll be a bit of an improvement. So first of all, we're going to flip it over. Sorry, first things first. Make sure it's turned off. It's still going. Holding down power button, I heard it click. Now it's off. Okay, so they've got these little tiny Phillips head screws here. I'm using a set of uh, computer screwdrivers here. I just need to find the smallest one. They're not very uh, deep, these screws, so I think a flat blade one, I think, yep. Flat blade was the one that I used last time and it worked quite well. Just lift this up carefully. Okay, there we go. I'm lifting the lid now. Okay, so you can see the Wi Fi antennas, CD drive, hard drive. And this is our RAM right here. This is what we came for. So I'm just gonna pop this out. There should be two of these here. I'm just gonna push the tab on the side and push this tab on the side and it comes up, removing it. There's our second one underneath. Pushing the tab on the side once again, pushing this tab on this side. Yep, and it's popped up. very carefully removing it as you can see okay so there is what we're taking out and it specifies here the speed PC3 so 1 gig R sorry 2R times 16 PC3 8500S so they're 1 gig a piece put them aside Here's our new ones. Let's compare them now. So we've got um, D 2 gig DDR3 and this is uh, 1066, which they really should be saying 8500. Okay, these should be the right ones, but let's uh, let's find out. out of its package so they only go in one way there's a slot there so I'm going to put this bottom one in first same way we took it out so I'm just lining up the grooves now bit of a push yep that pushed in okay that's clipped in Second one. So I'm just uh, lining up the center slot, making sure it's uh, evenly spaced, pushing it in on the same angle it came out on, and then it should click. Yep, okay, that's in. Okay, so after we've replaced the RAM, we've checked they're in there nice and securely, blow off any dust or any anything like that now there's little pins all the way around uh, so they do sense whether or not the, the lid has been placed back on feeling it in making sure the clips are in there replacing all the screws and we'll test it and see how it goes Light. 
So I'm just going to go to the top corner where the apple bar is and have a look if it recognises the RAM. Of course a lot of games and things are trying to open up. I'm going to close down a few things. Okay, if, uh, Google Chrome, let's just shut that down, yes. Shut that down, yes. Okay, now back over to here. Oop, there's another one. Shut that down, yes. About this Mac, let's see what it says now. Memory, there we are, four gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM. So we successfully changed it from two to four. And hopefully that should make a difference. Let you know.